Night four of the blockade at the border. This is a national crisis. With international trade halted, a court could soon give the green light to have the protesters physically removed. They don't have the right to affect you or your family's ability to earn a living, and they've gone too far. They need to resolve this. They need to get the blockade released. Up until this point, the Canadian government has not attempted to remove the protesters, but that could change tomorrow. Mara McDonald live at the Ambassador Bridge tonight. Mara, the economic impact of this is already being felt on our side of the border. Now we've got this big hearing coming up tomorrow afternoon. That's right, Devin. Here's where things stand right now. That hearing is scheduled for noon tomorrow. The mayor of Windsor is going in there asking a court to grant an injunction to get these protesters out of there. Meanwhile, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police say that agency is moving more units down to Windsor to assist. Tonight, the busiest international crossing in North America is deserted. Canadian truckers protesting vaccine mandates for their industry as well as mandatory quarantines have essentially blockaded the Ambassador Bridge. I'm not weighing in on the substance. I'm not going to get into Canadian government policy. But the fact of the matter is, this is compromising and jeopardizing many jobs in the state of Michigan. It's not just the politicos calling for an end to this. Business groups on both sides of the border are calling on the Canadian government to end this now. Four GM and Stellantis are already feeling the effects. It's a deteriorating situation, and the longer it persists, uh, the more difficult it's going to be to make up for any lost production. The convoy of about 75 who showed up in Windsor are part of a greater effort in Canada. About 500 truckers are still in Ottawa. So far, the only movement against them is a court order preventing them from honking their horns, which they were doing every hour on the hour. While the Ambassador Bridge remains closed, traffic has been successfully rerouted to the Blue Water Bridge. And while there are still delays, it's not the 10 mile backup that was yesterday. Back here live late tonight, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau tweeting out that he has been in a series of meetings about what he refers to as the illegal blockades and occupations and that they must come to an end and that his administration is offering up its support to all the provinces who need it. We are live at the Ambassador Bridge in southwest Detroit tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. Keeps developing by the hour. Keep it right here. We will keep you apprised. All right, Mara.